Today, we are checking out a highly requested video for me to react to. By the way, I do react to videos that you want me to as well. And it is a bootleg Kev interview with Southside. And shout out to both of those guys. I believe they are both ATL natives. And Southside has some choice words about loot makers and beat stars. Um, as a producer, I know sometimes you'll take like uh, loops from other up and coming producers or certain shit. Like, how's your process in terms of like, do you still like look for loops or, or shit like that from like. I don't really look for loops no more. I kind of just sign the kids who got five loops now because I just. We, we used to go through too much shit with that shit. Like, like we'll take a kid that was nobody and blow him up and make him something and then. They start want to charge us like they us. Like, mm. you know, it's like I just went over a video or just reacted to a video that involved Bolo, the producer, and he had about the same amount of complaints as Southside has right here. I don't know if that's coincidence or not, but damn, you're starting to see a theme with the way people are trying to hustle these days. You won't get a placement if I don't use your loop. Yeah, right. It's like this not you how the game You go do works. the same shit with this same loop and send it to Future and see what you can do. <laughs> this loop and you get it to and I don't mean to interrupt this video, but it's kind of funny that he would say that. But that's honestly my sentiment when it comes to people that just want to do a little bit and get a whole bunch. There's too, far too many people that are trying to do this hustle of, I'll send you a loop. And then, you know, if you get placed a placement or whatever, I deserve this. And it's like, okay. Like, and it's air an opportunity for you because Southside, in this case, definitely has the bargaining power. Just respect it. You know what I'm saying? So what I started doing is I signed them first. I didn't sign probably over 40 kids in the last two years, 40 producers. So you have your team of producers, and then from there, everyone just kind of contributes, and then you put your sauce on it, or, nah, I or, do, or sometimes will you make a beat and then send it to your guys to see if they can add to it? I don't make beats with my guys. You don't do so let me get this straight. So he has loop makers and then he has his production team. I'm not getting it. I'm probably going to have to holler at one of my dogs over there that, that are a part of uh, 808 Mafia. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Do that. No, no, no. Like I let them do them. If they make a beat, they go up. We made it. Shit, I'm, yeah. I'm just well, you know, some, some, I mean, listen, some of your counterparts are not the same. Yeah, for sure. Because some of your counterparts. I agree will just take a beat from some little homie they signed and just, and just throw their tag on it. I agree. It. You know what I'm saying? I don't really... Hmm. I wonder who he's talking about. Hmm. Now, for real, it, leave a comment if you know what this spice is about. You do that. That's not really my thing. Like, you know, unless I'm trying to take a kid that nobody knows completely, mm -hmm. but I'm still going to put his tag in it. I'm still going to post him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm trying to take him from zero to $15,000 a beat in six months, then I'm going to do some shit like that. I respect that. I respect that, Southside. I respect that. And that's how we operate at 16levels.com. I, I am not trying to take anything out of your deal that you have outside of that once the, once the purchases went down and all the splits are fair. I, I don't do any of the, oh, well, since I've recruited you or since such and such recruited you, then... We, we deserve this amount of whatever. No, 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 no. That's between you and the producer, artist, musician, record label, and so forth. And yes, we do have that bargaining power and clout at 16levels.com. That's the only way, like you feel me? But I'm still going to give him all the credit because I need him to be, I need, like my dream is to have a, a pub company full of celebrity producers. Mm. That's what anyway, I mean, is. I mean, I'm about to say, you pretty much kind of, I'm mm. almost there. Yeah. Almost there. yeah. <laughs> For you, like, because I, I do feel like being a producer is kind of like, um, it feels like such a saturated field to try to get involved in. And I. Oh, fuck no. We made it fun now. Me and Metro were talking about this other day. But I was going to say, like, if you're an up and coming producer, how do you get, like, some people will do the tight beats on YouTube. Some people will go on Beat Stars and sell lease beats. Like, if you're a I hate nobody. Beat stars. I don't know why. If you're a nobody. Really oh, Lord. Uh, I got to hear this. You know why I hate B-Stars? Because they, like, B-Stars selling these kids' rights. So I know a kid that sold a beat on B-Stars. Actually. And lost. I'm trying to be neutral. 
and I'm not trying to start nothing with Southside, and I darn sure ain't trying to start nothing with Abe. I've met both of those fellas before, and I will say this right here. Uh, as far as B-Stars goes, and I've been a part of B-Stars before, I can tell you that you can negotiate your terms. Like, it's on you to negotiate your terms, and you can set up your terms on your website. It just depends on how you have it set up. If you have your own independent website that is hosted through B-Stars, or if you have a producer or a beat page or whatever, it's on you. They don't sell your rights to your beats. And, and if the person did go through that, well, he didn't care. All everything for a thousand bucks. It was a Moray record too. For a thousand bucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit cool at the time, but it's like, I, how I was raised, my mom and my dad taught me if you was ignorant, that's not my fault. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I 1000% agree. You should always do your research before you join in well, either 808 Mafia, uh, Beat Stars, or any other group of people or conglomerate that isn't 100% yours or you haven't established. So if you get fooled and they told you beforehand that you're going to be a fool, or even if they don't tell you and you don't ask, guess what? Your fault. Yeah. You signed the paperwork. Yeah, I like you B Star. That's what you did with B Star. So if you put this beat up for sale for me on B Stars, I'm gonna put my card on B Stars and I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. And buy all your rights for a thousand dollars. It's like, you know, I'm still gonna leave you as the producer, but yeah, you're gonna get your pub. Or do you even get the pub? They don't get no pub, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's definitely not true. I don't co sign what he's saying in that regard. Again, you have a choice of putting up your terms of service. What most producers do just to get their beats off is that they'll sell off anything just to get the money. And that is something that happens in the music industry altogether. And with this new age of music producers that are out there, they're far too thirsty. It's just like I see a lot of people that are giving away their loop packs and stuff like that, or they're giving away a certain amount of loops in hopes that they're going to gain a bigger following, when in reality, what starts off free ends up free. So if you think that you're going to bring up or create a pure representation of a company, that will establish some e-commerce from free loops, guess what? That is far few in between, and the likeliness of people returning and buying something is slim to none because most people just want free stuff. Oh, shit, you $1, just- $1,000, I just bought your pub and it's everything. It's a full buyout. I'll let you keep the name on it, but <laughs> right. you I, get, don't, you... I, don't, I don't really like that. Like, you know, I feel like they should at least get them kids. Let them keep half of it or, you know, something. I don't know. What would be um, advice that no you'd give to up-and-coming producers just in terms of, like, getting attention or getting just, like, what avenue should they go through to try to get? Um, uh, You know, kids, I, what I notice about a lot of these kids, like, these kids, like, to skip the step of the step of things that, like, me, Metro, Lex Luger, mm -hmm. Kenny Digital, like, Mike Will, like, they like to skip those steps of things that we went through. Which steps? <laughs> the struggle. The struggling. The, uh, <laughs> Real talk. And, and I 1,000% agree with Southside on this settlement. What a lot of music producers try to do, or up-and-coming new guys or whatever, they want to be famous without the struggle. They don't want the rags part. They want the riches part. And what that ultimately happens is if you don't fail, then and you do succeed by, uh, let's say you just get that hit record or whatever, and then uh, what he was talking about earlier where People are not getting their publishing or whatever, not having a firm understanding. And that's, again, where I will kind of loop around and say, uh, in the defense of Abe and, and many of the representatives over there at B-Stars, they do a great job of educating uh, the youth. And, and many of the people will tell their stories about, you know, the bad side of going for a pub deal. If anything, having a publishing deal of any source is horrible because more, more likely, you won't be able to get those hits off and they'll do anything in their power for you not to fulfill your publishing deal. It is grueling. And most people, they just want to go into the red because they get money off of that. I do have a video that I'm, I'm thinking about reacting to where DJ Academics explains the game and how it works and why a lot of people end up being poor from an artist standpoint and a producer standpoint. And I definitely need to get to that. Just let me know if y'all want me to talk about that. But I do agree with Southside. That's one of the things that I had to learn as an up-and-coming producer as well. And that's the reason why we started 16levels.com, so we could spread you know, the wealth around and start some type of uh, economy where people can thrive at. It's mainly music producers, artists, 
and so forth. Like, it, and it's not difficult to do. It's not hard to establish. And we teach the way of how you can do that for yourself, just in case if you don't like what's going on at 16 levels, but you might like to do something on your own, or we provide you with some type of career output. And that's why we have an affiliate marketing program too as well, because I mean, we know not everybody's gonna be able to be great at creating clothes or sound design and so forth. It's more so about just building some type of ecosystem to where people can win. And that's what we do.